The future is looking good at Collingwood with the club securing the signatures of three budding young stars. Collingwood Media is excited to announce that Darcy Moore, Jordan Dugowie and Jackson Ramsey have all signed contract extensions with the club. Now, I'll start with you, Dars. Congratulations. You've signed on to the end of 2018. Uh, what made you make that decision so early in your time at the club? Um, thanks, Sarah. Um, basically, um, all my experience since early October when I walked in the door, um, you know, it's been six months and the player that I've become and how much I've improved in six months makes me really excited for the future. Um, and then when I look back, you know, 18, 19 years of, of supporting the club and, um, and following it, it's, um, it's a dream come true to be offered an extra two years and I'm not going anywhere, so I'm really excited. Very good. And Geordie, at such a young age, 19, you've committed to the end of 2018. Was that a big decision? Uh, not particularly. Uh, a lot of the senior players like Jamie Elliott and Tom Langdon have also signed on, so that's really encouraging for the team. And I just think the club's going in the right direction and I look forward to growing up with some of these younger players and, and trying to win premierships. I'm looking forward to you growing up as well. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need to, mate. <laughs> Jackson, you had a, a slightly different introduction into the side coming across from Perth. Uh, you signed on to the end of 2017. Was there ever a lure to go back home or has it always been Collingwood? It's always been Collingwood for my mind. I think um, even getting drafted, I, I sort of preferred Collingwood you know, over um, the uh, West Australian teams, but um, yeah, I couldn't be happier where I am at the moment and where the team's tracking. Fantastic. Now, one of the best images that we have from draft day is when the two of you got selected together. Let's have a quick look at some of the vision. Talk us through how you're feeling here. Um, yeah, it was just really surreal. Obviously, Jordan um, was, was pick five, so he was before me, and I just, you know, so I knew and I had to sit there in my seat and wait about 10, 20 minutes before I could get backstage and give him the hug that we just saw and, and a big smooch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, I was just sitting there trying to get out and, and get off stage and go and congratulate him. But no, it was great results. Now cool. that you actually are a magpie, you've got all that long family history. Now that you actually are a magpie, how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, I suppose everyone, um, it's an organisation full of elite athletes and we deal in controllables. And so since I've walked in the door, I've been able to, I've been given things that I can do to improve my performance and it's just controllables. Like, um, a lot of the lead up um, to the draft is things you can't control, things people say about you and the impressions that you give, but um, to be able to come in every day and just, and just do my job and, and work hard and contribute to the club to, to making it great towards what is a really exciting future has, has been really fun. And Geordie, what have you found to be the biggest surprise since you've got to the club? It's probably how serious you have to take it and, and how it is actually a, a job, I guess, in a way once you get drafted, you don't really understand how much hard work you have to put into it if you want to succeed. So um, obviously once you get here, it's, it's, it's a massive step up from TAC Cup, but once you work into that and get used to the routine, it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, probably that day-to-day -day work. Jackson, we have a, a picture from you on, I'm not sure if it was day one or day three at the bar. Shocking. Let's have a look at it. Uh, I, have, I have a feeling there's a story behind this one. Yeah, uh, well, first of all, we we're first year players. And, yeah, it is, it's me, yeah, a bit pasty. <laughs> Pretty translucent. <laughs> <laughs> now we um, we got sort of thrown in the deep end, and we couldn't really say no to the photographer, so we ended up, you know, taking the kid off and having a swim. But um, <laughs> we ended up. Um, I think I think the night before we sort of checked on Google Maps how long it'd take us to get to uh, the sea bars, and it said about 20, 20 minutes from Q. Um, so we didn't really. Um, account for traffic and anyway we were late and we were late on an, another couple of occasions because none of us had cars but <laughs> all interstaters but um, no it was, uh, it was the third day at the sea bus and I'm pretty much in the same boat as these guys when I first day it's sort of don't know how much hard work it is and then um, sort of get used to it and off you go. Let's get a quick update uh, on where you're all at at the moment. Darcy, your hamstring, how's it going? Yeah, so I'm um, about three weeks in now of recovery and it's, it's feeling really good, ticking all the boxes up until now. It's been a huge success up until now and way further along than what we thought I'd be. So um, going really well. It's still going to be another couple of weeks. Just got to really um, test it and make sure I'm ready to go. But um, up until now, it's been really encouraging and I'm really confident. Very good. Rama, the shin? Yeah, it's tracking on nicely. I can sort of out of that fashionable moon boot that everyone's wearing. So um, out of that at the moment and walking around pain free, which is good. So next steps, um, have a trot on it and um, hopefully we probably will miss this week. And then um, hopefully next week we'll um, put my name back up. And Jordy, you've been lighting up the VFL. I think we're going to have a look have at the up. mark that you took on the Sorry. weekend. How's it been going for you? Yeah, Whoa. I've been obviously. Uh, <laughs> oh. yeah, you jumped really high and then you marked it. I oh, know, I was pretty lucky. Good on you. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously I've been going all right, which is um, always pleasing. But um, yeah, I'm just very lucky that I'm injury free, unlike these boys. So um, yeah, just going to keep continue to play my role for the team and wherever that leads me. Leads me. So yeah, I'll just just put put in the hard yards and see what happens. The nickname Air Jordan's been thrown around a little bit. How does that sit with you? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't mind it to be honest. Uh, I I, like it. It's not 100% true, I guess, because it wasn't that good of a mark, I guess. But um, yeah, you know, you just got to cop it, and the boys have been giving me a bit of slack for it. So um, yeah, it's all just a bit of fun, though. So very good. Well, it is such exciting news for the club that the three of you have signed on. Congratulations once again. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Appreciate it. And to the supporters at home, if you haven't already done so, it's now your time to sign up and commit, just like these guys have, to the Magpie Army for season 2015. With over 73,000 members, it's an exciting time to support the Pies.